Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you're new to the channel and you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, trying to build the channel up, so if you could hit that subscribe button, like the video, um, any help, any support you can give the channel, it's always appreciated. Now, women's boxing is on the up and it's winning a lot of people over because although the the pool the talent if you like is not that deep they're serving up some fantastic fights and some of them are, are real shockers as well um and one of them tonight was yeah what would fall into the shocker category because terry harper of uh, sheffield england lost her WBC super featherweight title to the American um, Alicia Baumgartner. Now, Baumgartner, I, I hadn't seen her fight before. I looked at her record. But I saw her interview before the fight. And she she was so calm, so confident. Um... And it didn't strike me as being fake or forced. It struck me, this the confidence struck me as being really genuine. So I kind of got a sniff that there'd be an upset here because if you looked at the odds, Terry Harper was probably undeservedly a big, big favourite. I didn't have a problem with her being the favourite, but the odds were very, very wide. And I didn't really understand that because looking at, Baumgartner's record. She's only got one defeat to the Greek fighter Christina. I forget her name now. Chris, what's her name? Uh, Linadatu. Christina Linadatu. And Linadatu went the distance with with uh, Katie Taylor. Also lost to Delphine Pasoon. So Baumgartner. It's not like she didn't have any experience against world level fighters. But um, but for some reason Terry Harper who herself is, you know, she's had a little bit of experience. She's, she sort of, uh, she had the draw with um, Natasha Jonas, which a lot of people thought Jonas won, I did anyway. And uh, she'd shown some skills in it when she, she won a, a title. But at the same time, it's not like she was sort of steeped in experience. So I thought there might be an upset here, and I thought it would probably be on points. In actual fact, it was a fourth round stoppage. I'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But So the opening bell went and Terry came out. That For me, there was always a bit of a question mark over Terry because she, she'd been inactive. And even though she showed a lot of skill and guts against Jonas, I still think she lost that fight, even though it was a draw. I thought she lost that fight. But she does have a good technique. She has a nice shape. Very sort of textbook stuff. Baumgardner was a little bit the opposite. She was technically probably not as good, but she was definitely putting the pressure on, on Harper. And in the first round, it was noticeable that Baumgardner seemed to have what I would call, you might call it woman strength against Harper, who... It looked like woman against girl, to be honest with you. It looked like the physical strength was probably going to be a big problem for Terry Harper. And that's how it kind of how it turned out. Um, in the second round, Baumgardner caught. Uh, Harper came in square on, looking to, looking to engage. Baumgardner landed an overhand right that shook Terry Harper considerably. She sort of backed off, went to the ropes. I think she was bundled over, again, a sign of the physical strength, the imposing strength of Baumgardner. Harper gets up. She survived the round. Her footwork wasn't bad, actually. She was buzzed, but not totally shaken. Um, and in the third round, she came back quite well. I thought, oh, she might have actually won that round. First two rounds I gave to Baumgardner. Third one to Harper. But you got the impression in the third round, OK, Terry's getting back on her back on her bike a bit. She's concentrating on the jab. She's boxing. She's not engaging. Um, she's just trying to win the the fight on textbook boxing, which was probably the right the right tactic to have. But in the fourth round, Baumgartner, who was still boring forward, trying to use that physical strength, and throw in these very, very imposing overhand rights. Um, 23 seconds, I think it was, into the round. 
the fourth round this is, over comes the right hand and it clocks Terry Harper on the button. And it was really quite a shocking thing to see because Harper froze. You've heard the expression knocked out on your feet. This was a very good example of it. She froze, turned, seemed to turn sideways with her hands down, completely unaware of anything, effectively knocked out on her feet. And a brilliant piece of refereeing, um, Mark Lyson was the ref. He jumped in straight between the two women and stopped Baumgardner from landing what would have been a hellacious knockout punch, which would have absolutely flattened Harper. Harper was utterly defenceless. Baumgardner was, knew she'd hurt her badly and went in for the kill. But Lyson, all credit to it, Lyson jumped in, all credit to the man and stop what could have been a very, very nasty and potentially a very, uh, very worrying knockout. So the new champ is Alicia Baumgarten, all credit to her. I've said this before about people that come to this country and, you know, put themselves on the line against the home fighter. Massive respect to them, whether they win or lose. They've got the guts to come over him and face, uh, face our champions. It's been a bad, bad, bad day for Eddie Hearn and Matchroom. They've lost two world champs. They've lost Terry. And um, Kid Galahad got ironed out. I've just done a video on that if you want to watch it. But <laughs> talk about a shocker. Kiko Martinez being uh, Kid Galahad out of the blue. I never, I never would have seen that one coming. I thought Baumgartner would win this one. I had a suspicion. But I didn't think she'd do it in four rounds. And likewise, I, I would never have picked Kiko Martinez to beat Kid Galahad. But he knocked him out flat out. So a bad, bad day for Matchroom and Eddie Hearn. And DeZone, to be honest with you. But um, poor old Eddie lost AJ. Oh, AJ lost. Galahad lost tonight. Terry Harper lost. He said, this is a, not a good year for, for Matchroom. But these fighters can come back. Look at Kiko Martinez. Ten defeats and he comes back and wins a world title. Was it seven or eight years after his first one? Defeats needn't define you. And that's what Terry Harper's going to have to look at. And that's what Kid Galahad's going to have to look at. They're going to say, OK, I got defeated. It's a fact. It happens. It doesn't define me. But did you see the Harper fight against Baumgartner? What did you think of it? Um, put your comments below. I'd like to hear them if you've got anything to say. Um, but yeah, these American ladies, they're tough, aren't they? Very, very tough. Uh, and uh, they seem to be dominating women's boxing at the moment. But yeah. All right, well. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If, Like I say, if you're new and you could hit the subscribe button, I'll, I'll really appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you again sometime, hopefully. Um, you take care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Much love to you.